Well, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We are at the International Arts of Europe Convention, uh, Frankfurt 2008. We have the honor the, of uh, interviewing today with us uh, Mr. Henry Hutting from South Africa and Botswana. He is the Managing Director and CEO of Norange. We have also the honor to interview Mrs. Shirley Hutting, the Corporate Relations Director of the same company. Good morning, Hen Henry. Good morning. Good morning, Good morning Shirley. First of all, I would like to congratulate for the receiving the International Arch of Europe Award. Congratulations. Thank, Thank, you, Thank you very, very much. much. Your project in Sandin Square, South Africa, features a five and a half meter statue of Nelson Mandela. What is your relationship with the Mandela family? Well, my, my father is an artist in South Africa, rather famous, and, and he's been doing this for many years. And um, as late as 15 years ago, we decided for the first time South Africa had an icon big enough to make a statue that size of uh, in, in Nelson Mandela. Um, so we started a project which took us probably uh, 10 or more years to get off the ground. And in that process, um, Santon Square was renamed to Mandela Square. And uh, my father specifically built a fantastic relationship with the family um, visiting to and from. Uh, so that's really from there. Um, I think from the same uh, floor, really, some other projects came out in South Africa. Um, Cell C, which was the third cellular license um, in South Africa, we were able to be involved in, uh, which was a success. Um, and many other corporate uh, relationships that we built through um, the understanding, really, of that part of politics and business in South Africa. Thank you very much. Uh, Shirley, uh, can you make us a brief presentation of your organization and explain to us the success of your activities. Sure. Um, although Norange was established probably formally about three years ago, and we're a relatively young company, um, we have a, a good board of directors which contribute an immense amount of skills. And I think when Henry mentioned earlier is that uh, we have five areas which we are, are mainly interested in, five sectors, the first being mining. Our interest in mining fall at the moment within gold and diamonds. Um, that will be expanded over the next, probably the next five years. And uh, we have another, another sector which is medical and humanitarian. We have a doctor that heads up that section. Um, his main interest there is home-based care. And if you have a look at the whole scenario of Africa, the actual communities are more remote than what they are in South Africa. I mean, we're a lot more established. And a home-based care system would work very well in remote, with remote communities across the, the country. Um, also, obviously, with the, with the problem that we have at the moment globally, but especially within Africa, his focus is on um, supplying medical care and medication to patients who, have, who suffer from malaria and um, AIDS. Then another area of ours which is of interest is agriculture. Um, that is mainly because we have a passion and we really believe that you can turn around the economy of a country if you can, you can put a good sustainable agricultural model in place. We are um, initiating a project this year up in Mo Mozambique uh, where we are setting up an agricultural school which um, transfers skill sets to the local community. And we're also um, exporting from overseas from, uh, I think it's the United States, if I'm not mistaken, and from South Africa, seed and semen and embryos from a stud um, race into that country where they don't have at the moment. And um, yeah, the infrastructure building and the, the financial side actually falls to Henry with regards to looking at projects and financing projects. But the projects that we do take on as a company have to be sustainable. There has to be a good sustainability model built in place. and. Um, his side is, is finding the funding and, and internationally for that. So it's quite exciting for us. We're very excited. Very good. Henry, can you speak about the future projects of your company? Yeah. Um, we obviously believe that uh, a country can generate its own um, finance through using its assets. And therefore, we have a strong focus on mining. 
and we're very excited about expansion in the mining area where we combine a South African company which is um, 65 percent black economic empowerment in South Africa mm -hmm. and they have listed companies as part of their projects um, and combined with our Norwich project specifically in Mozambique should have an asset base of over 25 billion US dollars. Um, so we're very, very excited about that and starting the, the capitalization of that and having a truly a country come up with its own financial solution because of that. So, yeah, definitely. Very good. And as you received this International Arch of Europe Award, uh, how this award can help you, your company in its future activities? Um, we have always believed that... Um, the focus of what we do should speak of excellence mm -hmm. and quality. Yes. And uh, speaking for ourselves, I think we've been very frustrated, even w within big companies, that there's often quality and service lacking. And um, having that as our focus and being acknowledged for that, um, I think would, would certainly raise the awareness of what Norwich does and where we want to go not just on an African scale, but also on a global and a European scale. So we're very excited about that. I think from our side also, just to add to that, from a, a marketing perspective, um, not necessarily just for Norange, although obviously we would have the utilize the logo and the branding, but the fact is that there is a, a, an awareness that is brought forward or represented by each of the companies that have been nominated to carry the award and that to take that out into the world or into their own various country areas is to make everybody aware that there is an excellence of service and people are being rewarded for it. That we don't have to follow the norm, which is basically, um, I believe, that the service is, is certainly dropping across the globe. Thank you very much for this interesting conversation. Um, ladies and gentlemen, we had the honor to interview Shirley and Henry Hudding at the International uh, Arch of Europe Convention in Frankfurt 2008. Thank you very much. Thanks Thank you very so much, much Arthur, for having us. Thank you.